Hi mga gala, maayong gabi, maayong buntag, maayong udto, wherever you are. This is Maestre Judy. Welcome to Cebuano 101. This is the part 3 of the word-for-word -word breakdown from the Vilag number 2. Yes, it took some time. I actually forgot about it and then I just realized that I have to finish the lesson. Alright, mga higala, so this is the part 3. I want you to listen first to the clip and then let's discuss after watching it. Okay, the first one we have Akung Simhuton Okera. Akung Simhuton Okera. That means I will smell it. Is it okay? I'll smell it. Is it okay? Okay, so you can see here. Akung is the subject. It means I. And we have the nga linker here to connect the subject pronoun to the verb simhoton. Okay? If you don't put the nga linker here, it sounds broken and you might not be um, understood clearly. Okay? So, ako, there should be the nga linker here. Akung. It means I. And then, simhoton is will smell. So, this is in the future tense. Okay? Akong simhoton. Simhoton is will smell. This, there is a suffix on uh, attached to the verb simhot. Okay? The root word here is simhot. Okay? Simhoton means will smell. So, here, the suffix on, the meaning of the suffix on in this um, sentence or context, that means you are going to smell something or someone. Okay? When you say simhoton, you are going to smell something or someone. Okay? And akong simhoton means I'll smell it. Okay? The it here refers to the mangoes that Kuya was uh, selling. And then okera. Okay, ra means is it okay? Okay, the ra here is more like an emphasis, and the meaning of ra is actually just, but the ra here is more like an emphasis. So when you say okay, ra, is it okay? Okay. As you can see, I mean, as you all know, a lot of you know already that we normally use the verb, subject, object, sentence construction. But in this case, I actually use subject and verb, okay? The object here is actually implied because we're talking about the mangoes, okay? So the subject I put, I used akong and then followed by the verb. If you are a beginner of the language, I strongly suggest you use the verb at the beginning of the sentence. In order to in order to be on the safer side, <laughs> okay. So akong simhoton, or or another way to say it is we will use the object pronouns. Um, the counterpart of ako subject pronoun is na ko for the object pronoun, okay. So in order to put the verb at the beginning of the sentence, we will say. Simhuton na ko. Okay? Simhuton na ko. Okay ra? <laughs> okay. So, two ways to say it, mga higala. Akong simhuton or simhuton na ko. Just take note that when you use the object pronouns, like na ko, put it after the verb. Okay? Not before the verb. Okay? If you say na ko simhuton here, it doesn't make sense and nobody will understand you. It should be, again, if you're using the object pronouns, nako, nila, um, namo, put it at, after the verb. Okay, mga higala? I hope that is clear. Now, next one. Kuya answered, Tam is manatsiya. Tam is manatsiya, that means that's sweet. Okay? Tam is means sweet. And then man here is um, acting like an emphasis. So you have to take note that Kuya is a seller. He's a vendor. He's trying to sell me something. 
So he has to use something that will give emphasis to what he's saying. Okay. So tam is manat siya. So that is sweet. Okay. The na here it means that, and siya means we are. He is actually referring to the mangoes. Okay, or the fruits that he is selling. Tam is manat siya. That's sweet. Or, or basically the context there is. Those fruits on my table, the one I'm selling, are actually sweet. Okay, tamis manat siya. So kuya, with the man also here again, with the man, it sounds more polite. Okay. Uh, let's watch the clip one more time, and I hope this time you already understand the conversation. And I hope to see you at the end, mga higala. <laughs> Okay, Manghigala, how was it? Did you somehow understand the conversation? First, before you go, I'm inviting you to visit my site, sibuano101.com. If you are a serious learner and if you want a more structured lesson, head over to sibuano101 and become my patron. I have two online courses available for you. There are more resources for you there, and I hope to see you there. Dagang salamat mga igala. See you next time. Amping kanunay. Bye!